Hey everybody, Chibi here with Entropic Gaming, and welcome back to Hotical Boyfriend. Uh, last time we just finished up with... who did we finish? Yuya. And I think I'll actually go with the default name this time because, well, it just makes sense to me that, like, I should have been probably doing this from the beginning, but it's like, it just occurred to me that... If you think about it... The chances are, it's not just the same girl going after these guys, it's like different girls, you know, meeting up with these guys. So, Hiyoko Tosaka. Yep, yep, yep. Display human portraits, yes. Configuration saved. You can- wait, what? You can take this chance to fulfill a promise from long ago, or you can live a normal school life this semester. Which do you choose? Um, let's go with just a normal life for now. That was weird. I believe we're going after Iwamine today, though. <laughs> skip, 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 skipping all of this. Da 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 da, Nageki. Nageki. Mm. <laughs> so much going on. Yeah, I can't believe Yuya. Wow. Yep, it's gonna be Iwimine that we're going after this time. And it's gonna be Oko-san the next time. Alright. Blah 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 blah. Alright, let's join the infirmary staff again, because Iwamine is a school doctor. Today's an elective, what should I do? class because you know intellect and whatnot uh... oh I'm supposed to help at the infirmary better hurry salutations Hiyoko Yuya what's wrong are you hurt so sweet of you to worry for me but no I'm the second command here you are I never would have guessed I couldn't be happier, Monami. Mystery is the most powerful of these aphrodisiacs. Anyway, our job as staff is to check the medicines and clean up in here. Normally I'd do that. But today I've got some stuff I need to take care of, so could you handle this mess for me? Of course! My thanks, Yoko. Oh, and don't touch the desk. It's the doctor's personal area. I'll take you somewhere nice in return. I do! No, you're gonna take ten brooks someplace nice. Yuya flutters out the door. Did he just ask me out? Anyway, cleaning. I think we're going a different route with this one. Some of these drugs are a little weird, no matter how you look at it. Is this really an infirmary? It feels more like a human, or rather, avian experimentation room. Huh? The desk drawer is open, and there are files sticking out. Everything was very neat when I was in here last, but maybe the doctor is a little care careless about tidying up? You did say not to go near the desk, but I think I'll... Neaten the desk. Just putting the files back in order should be fi- You again. D -d -d doctor when did you- I just got back, but oh my, we do have sticky fingers, don't we? Th that's not it. Sakazaki asked me to clean. Clean? Oh, I see. You're on the staff now. Y yes Did you say anything about going near the desk? Yes, sir. Please, do be more careful next time. Curiosity killed the cat, among other things. <laughs> That's creepy. Yes, sir. Let's never do that again. Good idea. Good idea. Ah, sitting at home, class hike. Oh, 
let's talk to Kazuaki. <laughs> Phase and elective, what should I do? Let's take math, because we're smart like the doctor. In theory. Oh, well, where? Today's a sports festival. Let's help with the first aid tent, I believe. Now oh, we've already seen this scene. Midterm. Let's see. Days of your good. Let's see, go to the... Oh, I wonder. Let's go visit... Oh, sh no, no, no. I screwed that up. One sec. And we're back. Sorry about that. Hmm, today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should go do during break. I'll go to the... Infirmary. There we go, the proper one. You again. Are you will? Um, not exactly. Then why are you here? I came here to... Uh, hear your voice? I wanted to hear your voice. My voice? Yes, you sound like Snufkin. What? And? Um, don't tell me you here. You came here just for that. Would it be bad if I did? You're even stranger than I had thought. I'm fascinated. How I'd love to experiment on you. That's creepy. Sadly, I am busy at present. Please go elsewhere. Okay. I got kicked out. I guess being told I'm interesting is a step in the right direction. Or is it? What are we up to? What, what, what are we getting ourselves into? Today's an elective. Let's do math. And all that. Today is Tanabata. Probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year, too. I think I'll go make a wish. Wow, there's lots here already. Any birdie I know? Can you hear the song of the stars above? That's Yuya's. And then Nanaki's. Just who will be granting my wish and how? Iwamene Shu. What should I wish for? <sighs> Rule the world! What? The mad love of a fallen angel? What? That's interesting. Not what we want to go for, I don't think, though. Wish to take the reins, da da da. No, thank you. We don't want to get walked home. Today's an elective, what should I do? Oh, I don't know, math. Cleaning the classroom took longer than usual. I need to hurry to the infirmary. Hiyoko! What is it? I'm in a bit of a hurry. Nothing much, just have you heard of the seven mysteries of St. Pignatius, Hiyoko? This school even has its own horror stories? Do tell! Yeah, well, there's one that says that sometimes students will disappear in the infirmary, only to show up again as food in the dining hall and quill pens on the school store. Sounds like an urban legend to me. It does, but Dr. Iwe Mene is pretty suspicious. Be careful, okay? You go to the infirmary a lot, right? Has he ever done anything to you? No, but... Well, you're a girl, Hyoko. I'm a little worried. That's true. I'll be careful. Ryoto always has been one to overthink things. Anyways, can't keep you, you're waiting. Excuse me. Huh? Yuya and the doctor are talking about something. Did you really think I hadn't noticed? You sure look like you woke up on the wrong side of the nest. What are you talking about? I shouldn't have to explain. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I have told you never to touch my desk, haven't I? And what makes you think I ever have? This doesn't look too good. Um, 
Hyoko, there you are, Monami. Hyoko can back me up on this. We were in the courtyard until a few minutes ago. She said she was going to the restroom, so I should go ahead. I only just got here. In other words, I haven't had time to go rifling through your stuff, doctor. Right, Monami? Just what is going on here? Sounds like the doctor suspects Yuya of being, having searched his desk while he was out. I came straight from the classroom to here, so Yuya's obviously lying. I... was in my classroom. I don't even know what's going on yet. I just can't just lie through my teeth. No, I was in my classroom until just now. Ryota was there too. Yuya's lying. Shit. Ooh, Yuya cursed. Well done, Miss Tosaka. I'm glad our new assistant is so astute. What a pity, Yuya. It would seem that you are somewhat in lacking basic truthfulness. I think we need to have a long, serious discussion. Alone. I'm sorry, Miss Tosaka, but could you leave? This is important. Oh dear. I got kicked out again. Yuya's face looked pretty bad. Dr. Iwamene praised me, but what on earth is going on? Probably not going to see you yet again, though. Yay! Sometimes he's summer now. I should probably find out if I need to come to school. Cleaning. Well, I will be here just about every day the building is open. But there isn't any real need for you to come, too. Nothing I could do to help? No? Was there anything else? Um... Missing students. I kind of wonder about what Yuya said last week. Maybe I'll test the waters. Um, sir? I heard that sometimes students disappear after coming in here and... Who told you? No one in particular. Everybody's talking about it. It's kind of like a school legend or something. So you believe in urban legends? What? No, not really. Just what it would... That it would be kind of cool if it were true. Then we shall leave it at that. Huh? That it would be cool if you were to disappear. Or something like that. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have expected a straight answer in the first place. No. I never can tell what the doctor is thinking when I talk to him. I think we're gonna get in trouble. And... boop. Hello, Azami. So, uh, let's just forget it. I think I'll go with someone already. Invite. Oh, I wonder who I'm gonna invite. What do you want? Ah, it's the doctor! Ah! Da -da -da -da. Is that all? I'm going home. S sorry, I just hadn't thought you'd actually come. But I didn't have anything better to do, so I decided that even if it was a 0.05% chance, it was still worth trying. You invite me based on a chance like that? Fascinating. I think I want to try studying primate ethology next. That aside, what did you want? I wanted to go to the festival with you. A festival? Forgive me, but I don't ascribe to idle superstition. I think... 99.95% of the people here will be here just for fun, not religion. Very well. I shall accompany you. 99.95, which accommodates the 0.05% chance of him coming. In exchange for your left arm, of course. M my left arm? Oh, would that pose problems to your active and youthful high school lifestyle? I shall accept a lock of your hair instead, then. Um, okay. Yep, he's a pervert. Yippee! Oh, fireworks. Yeah, we had this with, uh, Nanaki. Fireworks, how marvelous. You mean even you like fireworks, sir? Naturally, such potential. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to know what he's thinking about. Yeah, I don't want to know either. I enjoyed myself tonight. Thank you, Miss Tosaka. 
And so he left, a satisfied expression on his face. I'm a little worried that he was trying to study me, but I'm glad he had fun. Yeah, I'd be a little worried too. The late sunset in summer makes it easy to stay out late. I feel like my internal calendar's off already. I think I'll get some udon and go home before I get life counseled. Wait, isn't that the doctor? Good evening, doctor. <gasps> ah, gee. Is this any hour for a high school student to be wandering about? Huh? There's mud on his wing. Little of the city's nocturnal entertainment is to be admired. Perhaps you should go home. I'm going to... I'm gonna ask what he's doing. Because I'm curious. Um, sir? Yes? What are you doing out here, sir? Nothing. Nothing at all. I was on my way home. I just happened to pass by. But if you were just walking around, how'd you get all muddy? Dot, 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 dot. I had forgotten that primates retain their keen vision in the dark. <laughs> Informative, indeed. Thank you, Mr. Saka. Good night. Not an answer we were wanting. Oh, wait! You didn't answer my question! Throwing something away. Huh? I was disposing of some things I no longer needed. And so he hurried away into the night. Throwing something away? What? Littering is bad, doctor. Gee, I wonder what he was throwing away. Probably a body. And... Do -do 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 Return to my glorious abode. Um, good morning. I hope everyone had fun over the summer. Coo! Maybe we've seen this. Oh, and... We're back again. Keep screwing up. Second term. Yay! Uh, is that a student ID? Whose is it? Someone from 2 2? Not a name I recognize. Should I go find their classroom? They might have already gone home though. Well, any teacher will do, right? Why did we go for the doctor then? Doctor? Good afternoon. What is it this time? Um, I found someone's student ID, and I thought maybe you'd know what to do with it. Isn't that something for the staff room? Why bring it all the way here? It was closer, and they've started printing out tests in there already, so I'm not sure I can go in. There is no need for excuses, young lady. Leave it there and get out, please. Yes, sir. Wait, Miss Osaka. Hmm? Where did you find this? Um, it was on the staircase between the first and second floors, on the south side. I see. Oh, oh, oh. it wouldn't do to have someone finding it and asking questions. I am indebted to you, Mr. Saka. Wait, what? Asking questions? Nothing you need to worry about. Please, do me more careful. be careful on your way home. What was that all about? He certainly is as strange as ever. That was strange. Today's an elective. Math class. I'd hope for something a little da da da. Today's the school ca uh, festival. Our class decided to do a maid cafe. I'm not scheduled to work t until tomorrow, so I have today off. I don't have anything to do, so I guess I'll go look around. Oops, sorry, my phone's bugging me. A whole bunch of clubs of food stalls outside. They looked good when I was coming in, so maybe I'll go get something for lunch. Wait, isn't that... A familiar silhouette floats by on the other side of the crowded schoolyard. Dr. Iwamine? I thought he'd be cooped up in infirmary doing something boring today. Maybe I should ask him to eat lunch with me. Oh... Yes, this is... Invite him to lunch. I have to catch up to him first. Hmm. 
Hmm, he did go this way, right? Ah, uh, did I lose him? Where did he go? There aren't even any stands set up here, and there's nothing in the pamphlet about anything outside the main area. The only thing back here is... the incinerator? Who goes there? Who goes there? Huh? Did the doctor? I was following him up until a minute ago, but now he's behind me? Oh, it's you. Stalking is a bad habit, young lady. No, I wasn't... I was just wondering what you were doing. Is it a crime to rock a, a walk about one's own school? But there's nothing back here. There's the incinerator. W why? I was placed in charge of the science club's activities today. I just came back here to get rid of some things that were left over. Unneeded things. Things. My hunter-gatherer instincts are telling me to change the subject. <laughs> Oh, right, sir. Would you like to walk around together? I heard the haunted house is... No, thank you. At least let me finish inviting you before you refuse. As I said, I am supervising the science club, so I do not have time for fraternization. Okay. And so I returned to the cafe, scared off by his obstinance and my own survival instinct. Tosaka Hyoku. If only I could tell how she plans her actions, I could deal with her fairly easily. How troubling. Oh dear. That was the the scene with Nanaki. That, that's, uh... Ugh! I handed in my recorder instead of my math homework. What do I do? Is Mr. Nanaki still in the staff room? Excuse me. Huh? Mr. Danaki and Dr. Iwame. I hadn't expected to see them together. And you see nothing particular peculiar about these numbers? Nothing at all. There's a st statistical devi deviation visible in the data on students from the past few years. I had hoped to get some insight from you, but it would seem I have overestimated you. Really? Sorry I couldn't help then. Oh. Side with you. You should look more closely, Mr. Nanaki. Hello, T Tosaka. Even the students disrespect you? Pathetic. Um, sir, I gave you my recorder earlier instead of my homework. So you did. Here you go. Here's here's the work workbook. Thank you, sir. Sorry, sir. Like teacher, like pupil. <laughs> What's next? We're supposed to go to the into the infirmary today. Better hurry. Excuse me, huh? Yes. Where's Sakazaki? Didn't he come yet? Mr. Sakazaki won't be here today. Or tomorrow, or the day after. <laughs> um, what do you... He's been absent for almost a month now. I never realized. Did something happen? Who knows? He never was a very good student. No one's surprised to see him playing hooky again. <laughs> you know something about it, don't you, sir? Me? Of course not. I only know- I know only what happens when this within this little room. That somewhat alluring, slightly evil smile on his face tells me all I need to know. He had a hand in this. You do know something. Sleeping pills. Huh? What are you standing around for? You're his replacement now? Can count our supplies and mark down every anything we're low on. I don't think that counts as an explanation. You just skipping school? I never thought of him as that type. And he hasn't even called me. Why did you decide to become an assistant here, Miss Tosaka? Because, um, I... Like you, sir. Is that so? What a coincidence. I think I'm starting to like you too, though I can't say I thought much of you at first. He likes me? Is that good or bad? My heart's racing, but I can't tell if it's love or fear for my life. I wonder where Yuya went. Seriously. Got our finals back.
Today is Christmas, but Christmas is too mainstream, so I'm not, uh, so I'm not celebrating. Which is to say, my family's Shin Buddhist. Huh? There's someone at the door. Howdy! Pelican Express here with a package for a Miss Tosaka Hioka. Sign here, please. Oh, thank you. Thank you, little girl. Have a good one. I wonder what it is. I don't think I've ordered anything recently. It's from Dr. Iwamine. That's weird. Whoa, there's even a letter. Hmm. I greatly appreciate your hard work in the infirmary. I hope this suits your tastes. Merry Christmas. Iwamine Shu. He was really nice handwriting. Let's see, what's in here? There's a big box and a small one. Inside the small box is a quill pen. It's beautiful. A real white bird feather. Is he really giving this... It looks... Oh, God. I know what happened to you, yeah! The big one is... Huh? It looks like a roast chicken? Or maybe a turkey? I'm not sure what people eat on Christmas. Hello, Yuya! It's still warm. He must have had it delivered in a hurry. Thank you, Doctor. Yum! You really are an idiot, aren't you? The sun, its majestic brilliance, sweeps across the land, lighting it in... in and da, 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 da. That's, looks like I'm still alive to enjoy it. More than you, you can say. And we're doing this. Fulfillment in conquest. Here you go. Thanks, Ryota. Are you here all day today? Yep. First day is always busy. Oh, well, I was gonna... Da, 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 da. Let's see. Hmm. Mr. Danaki, Happy New Year. Oh, hello, Tosaka. Happy New Year. Did you get a fortune, sir? Yes. Unfortunately, I seem to have drawn the chicken of ill omen. Why don't you take one? I will. Hmm, what should I take? This one. Bob White Blessing. Okay, that bo that Bob White looks angry. Good, you got a better one than... Thank you, sir. Wait, isn't that... Doctor? Huh. He's standing a little way away from the crowd. Do partridges have winter plumage? He looks a little fluffier than usual. I wouldn't have expected to see you celebrating the new year here. Bleah. I wouldn't have expected to see you celebrating the new year here, sir. Celebrating? Hardly. I have no interest in gods, temples, or celebrations. Yep, that's what I thought. So wait, what's he doing here? So what are you doing here? What are you here for, sir? I just happen to be passing by. But there's nothing else here. Why would you be... Is it a crime to aimlessly wander the city in the morning? N no, I was just wondering. Such a crowd all at once. And as you said, there's nothing else around here. Who would notice if one or two were to disappear? Well then, goodbye, Miss Tosaka. Their families would notice. Happy New Year, creepy doctor man! It really sounds like Mike. Happy New Year, everyone. Hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated. Let's see, what a shocker. Zzz. Still hibernated. Oh, um, I've said this. Da da da, we've seen this. But I don't want to skip. Just in case. Oh, third term. I think all we've really got to deal with is the ending in Legumentines. Yep, still light out. Maybe I'll head home. Oh, tomorrow's Legumentines. I think I'll buy some beans. So, good evening. I think I'll buy... Let's just go with the racing blend. I'll take these. Thank you. Today's the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special sunbirdie. I do not recall summoning you to duty today. What is it? The doctor seems to be engaged in sweet embrace with a stack of papers at his desk. He didn't even look at, look at me, and from his voice, he wants me to leave. Do you know what day it is, doctor? February 3rd. He glances at the calendar above his desk, and then returns to his papers. The anniversary of the first... 
the anniversary of the first successful human embryo transfer. Really? Of course, test tube babies had been test tube babies had been successfully grown before then. So what do you want? Were you hoping I would transfer you an avian ovum? No. No. I'd have a really sad girl to be. I'd have to be a really sad girl to be fantasizing about bird eggs on the school infirmary. It's legumentine, sir. You give boys to the boy beans to the boys you like. So h here, you're giving these to me. Uh, yes. He finally looks over at me, but his expression is still no. It changed to something else. These are quite elegantly packaged. Yes, I got the most expensive ones for you, sir. So these were sold to you as some sort of luxury item. I see. Such a thing would never have occurred to us if we had lived long ago. To think that we live in a society where price is completely disconnected from amount and nutritional value. Is this a roundabout way of saying that the beans aren't worth their price tag? The value comes from the fact that they are expensive alone. Fascinating. I shall experiment on them later. You know what, you're supposed to eat them. The nutritional value and appearance aren't important. The important part is the fact that I gave them to The nutritional value and appearance aren't important. The important part is the fact that I gave them to you today. You gave me beans that anyone could get with the money. Worthless. Ah, rejected. Your resistance only makes my maiden heart burn stronger for you, doctor. In that case, I'll bring you beans that I grew myself next year. Just you wait. Okay. Year is almost over. It feels like it started only yesterday. This is the last day I have infirmary duty as well. Yeah, this is different. The doctor's not here yet? The infirmary is quiet and peaceful as always. The orderly rows of medicines, the neatly made bed... Huh? Something stinks in here. It's coming from the bed behind the curtains. I'm scared. Huh? The sheets are stained brilliant red. At the foot of the bed sits a wash basin. It's liquid pink, with a stack of scissors coated in blood and feathers on the bottom. The blood on the bed is still wet. Th this is... The students who disappeared after going to the infirmary. Yuya. That mysterious smile the doctor gave when I asked him. I have to get out of here. I have to tell someone. I need to report it. To the police? Anyway, I need to get away. I need to get out of here before he... You're early today, Miss Tosaka. Huh? <sighs> You're rather pale. Here, why don't you lie down? The doctor? This blood? Oh, forgive me. I just finished dismembering another student and hadn't cleaned up yet. Please, pay it no mind. He didn't even try to deny it. He... He... Da, 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 da. The... The door's locked. Going home so soon. It won't open. Indeed it won't. After all, there are so many bad little boys and girls who try to leave before their examinations are over. Like you. To the doctor, you... You really have been cutting people up and using them for your experiments? Do you really need to ask that? After all, you even helped me. Helped you? I, I would never. Don't tell me you've forgotten already. Just at the start of the semester, you helped me destroy a little evidence. You brought back the ID card of one of my guinea pigs. I suppose I dropped it by accident. You really helped me out, then. We can't leave things like that lying around, now can we? Then, Yuya? What did you do to Yuya? No, oh, I thought you'd figured that out already. He's in here, Miss Tosaka. In here. The doctor reaches over and lightly strokes my stomach. That's creepy! The... Yeah, the chicken you ate. The big one is, huh? Yeah, looks like a roast chicken, maybe a turkey. Yeah. Of course, technically speaking, he's long since been digested and absorbed into your body. So we don't really know exactly where he is, no, do we? That... You can't be... No! No! How did he taste? I was worried he might be a little tough. I did so regret not having a better bird to send you. It simply wouldn't do to have you throw him out. That that was you, yeah? Uh-huh. Ah, uh, ah, that's a beautiful face, Miss Tosaka. 
I have longed so dearly to see that face. You could tell from the start that I was dangerous, couldn't you? And yet you came to see me again and again. Very assertively. No, I just had to come for infirmary duties. Was that really it? You knew I planned to kill you, and yet you came anyway. Are you sure you didn't have feelings for me, perhaps? No, I want to say, but my tongue is like lead in my mouth. Maybe it's true. Maybe somewhere deep inside, I love the doctor. I am afraid that I have room for only one love in my life, and that is research. But it would be cruel to ignore your earnestness. And so I put much thought into how I might reward you. Just cutting you up would be a terrible pity, and I think I want to keep you by my side. Forever. He's going to kill me. I know he's going to kill me. So why can't I move? And so this is what I decided. I shall preserve only your head. It will be easily stored. Of course, I can't let such a rare sample slip by, so I will remove your brain. Why can't I pull my eyes from his? From the neck down, I shall cut you up and study you thoroughly. Don't worry, you won't go to waste. I will make sure to examine your insides most intimately. God, why is he- Oh my god, my brain is twisted and like weirded out right now. Suddenly, he has a cleaver in his left wing. You have chased after death's allure most diligently. I suppose you're too afraid to speak now? For a moment, my vision shifts to the ceiling, the wall, the floor, my eyes rolling wildly. The world twists, soaked in red. And so my life came to an end. We have an emergency report from the Pidge Nation Project. The researcher we dispatched to the school has stolen a highly classified sample and fled. He took sample HB087, the human head. Wait, what? We have not confirmed that he is armed. We have sealed off the area. He seems to be acting alone, so our retrieval squad should take care of everything quickly. Please help yourselves. The ch cheese Danish are rather good. What? Hmm. Have these brutes no mercy. Though I did agree to this from the start. <laughs> we seem to be in a bit of a pickle, Miss Tosaga. They suddenly asked what I give that I give you to them. And to think that until now they considered you worthless. I was the one who preserved you so beautifully. You like the jar, do you not? Do you know the mere exposure effect? It states that one cannot become attracted to things simply through repeated contact with them. A conundrum indeed. I think perhaps I have felt new emotions since I acquired you. We have but little time left together, I fear. I do not like the idea of handing you over to them, so I think I shall break you once more. Of course, do not wish to... F do not wish to force you into a double suicide. I shall break this glass only after confirming your feelings. You loved me, did you not? Don't have a choice on that one, did you? Ho 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 Thank you. I am so glad I got to kill you. Good night, Miss Tosaka. Contact! In the water! Left side! Weapons free! Take him down! Okay. Okay. The happy couple. Okay. Let's see what we got. Homo sapiens resistant capabilities. Adaptability measure for Homo sapiens to be raised an estimated 0.06%. There are fluctuations in mammalian evolution rates. We may need two or three more samples. Okay. Yep. Oh, and there's Nageki's poem. Well, that was Iwamine's route. And what a twist, what a twister that was. This was supposed to be a cute, you know, fluffy, hilarious dating game. What the fuck was that? Anyways, I'm gonna let you guys ponder on that. I have a roommate to go yell at and, you know, shake the shoulders of because he knew this was coming. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!